Hello everyone, I'm Sernan and our topic for today is all about the types of feature stories. Based on the studylecturesnote.com, here are some of the most common type of features that we can see and read in most magazines and other reading platforms. While I discuss to you the meaning and nature of each type of feature, you will also observe some clips or samples at the background for you to have more ideas on this particular kind of writing category. Let's begin with news feature. This kind of feature story is actually a combination of the news and feature story. This story is coming from some latest news where there are human interest angle. Meaning to say, the story is not just about a regular news that we can read every day, but something a little bit new and extraordinary for some reason. Let's take a look at given example. This news feature focuses on the ongoing wildfire that raised some parts of the globe, which has become another major problem in battling the COVID-19 pandemic. The writer described how the smoke could worsen the infection brought by the coronavirus dahil alam naman natin na ang usok ay pumapasok sa lungs na maaaring magkos ng too much complication sa paghinga lalo na kung ikaw ay positive sa COVID-19. It means dahil sa usok, it's even harder to breathe, right? The second one is the most prominent kind of feature writing, personality sketch. Given how most people wanted to know the life and whereabouts and what about of other people, especially here in the Philippines, well, I did not say a thing about Chismosa and Chismoso, that's why personality sketch is very popular, especially if the person is quite interesting, kakaiba, and pasok sa panlasa ng readers ang kanyang buhay. But in reality, writing a feature is hard as what you may think. You need to have a vast knowledge of everything about that person. You need interviews. You need authentic research. You need facts that could only be obtained from friends, relatives, teachers, at mga nakakasama niya lagi. Check one example here. Good Guy Gun Better by J.R. Santos of thewowbatangas.com this is a story about a man who is a good man already at his early age but has some things to improve too like studying dahil hindi niya gusto gaano ang pag-aaral. All he wanted is to play basketball and to be an MVP someday and he is really good at it. But after several years, he changed and became even better as he is now very serious in his studying and something happened to him that really changed his perception in life. Nabago. Mas naging mabuti pa siya. Personal experience is another interesting feature. I, myself, love reading features like this. It talks about particular experiences of a person and what he achieved from these experiences. It is usually in a form of interview. The writer first asks a lot of questions about the person and those are his basis in writing all the contents of his adventures and experiences. For example, a personal experience in joining journalism contest and then anong nangyari sa unang sabak? Did he fail or did he succeed all the way to NSPC? Please check the given example here. The leadership of the heart, eagles flight through life experiences in the awakening of integral Spain. Gusto kong pansinin nyo kung paano isinusulat ang title dyan. The next one is the human interest. This feature story usually came from a daily news basis, mga nangyayari sa araw-araw na buhay. But it becomes interesting when the subject or ang nangyari sa story ay kakaiba naman. In other cases, stories are very relatable to a group of readers. That's why it becomes a human interest. For example, fighting against cancer. 
definitely anyone who experiences cancer would really pay attention to this kind of article kasi nakaka-relate sila. In the given example, the story is about biking which is the common interest nowadays of a lot of people especially the teenagers i can see a lot of teens going out of their house and going to tagaytay using their bicycles going to places by just using bike is something that gives people nowadays a little bit of breather due to the stress and anxiety brought by this pandemic the fifth type of feature story is informative feature Obviously, the main purpose of this feature is to give a lot of information to readers. This is why they called it nowadays a new journalism as the purpose of spreading factual information is the main reason why it is being reason. Ito ang rason, magbigay at magpakalat ng katotohanan. For example, what you need to know about the different vaccines that are being inoculated to every individual. Ano ang meron sa Pfizer na wala sa Sinovac? Or ano ang advantage of one brand of vaccine to another brand? Lastly, historical features. From the world itself, you can already tell what this feature is all about. Most of the time, Writers do this kind of feature for the purpose of giving tribute to a historical figure or to change a perception or debunk wrong beliefs. For example, when you read a feature with the title Never Again, it is about the life under martial law where the new generation do not want the younger generations or the younger ones to experience the same story, the same fatal story that happened during that time. Another example, remembering the heroism of Tandang Sora where the writer tells more unknown stories about her life rather than the ones that we already knew. That's all folks, thank you for listening. I hope you learned something today. Enjoy writing!